Well, I am back with another video of building a uh, quick attach plate that goes on my set of pallet forks for my uh, little loader. Now, company actually sent me the quick attach that goes on the loader. Now, I need to build the corresponding plate that goes on the uh, attachment. So, if you want more information on installing the quick attach onto your loader, there will be a card up here at the top corner of your screen. Be sure to go check that out. That would be last week's video. Now, this week, I'm covering the half that goes on your implement, your bucket, your pallet forks, or whatever you wanting to make skid steer attach. Uh, I am building this out of scrap metal. It's what I build all my stuff out of because I just happen to have it on hand and you might as well use what you have. So the piece of plate still I am going to be using is actually from a gooseneck hitch that goes in the back of pickup. It was mounted on this big sheet of metal and it bolted down to the back of the pickup. And I've already used some of this metal for other projects some time ago, so now I'm going to be using up the rest of it for this quick attach plate. Um, I'm also going to be using some very heavy uh, strapping that is off of an old Alice Chalamosa uh, snap coupler uh, implement. I don't remember what it's off of, but I have the heavy strapping that we're going to be using for the hangers to hang the attachment onto the quick attach couplers. So I'm going to go ahead, go out. Take a look at what we already have mounted up to the loader and see what we need to do to get this built. So here's what I have installed on my little mobility loader. And it should be pretty easy to get all this set up. We have the levers here that lift those pins and we'll lock it into place. That plate still I have is going to go against the face of these plates here. and. The heavy strapping I have is what's going to hang right up top here and it all should hopefully work out quite well. So I got my piece of sheet metal clamped up here to the front of the skid steer quick attach. And these are the blocks of steel. I'm welding up on top here. And you can see in how it has the overhang here. And that's what's going to hold my attachment on. And I have this spaced out to where this plate is raised up high enough. I can weld on the inside of this all the way along. So then that weld should not interfere with the uh, plate right here. So I figured with that sticking up enough there, I can just run a beetle on the inside. And it should not interfere with anything. Well, I finished my welds on these top pieces up here, and now the plate hangs up here on its own. Uh, my next step is having a piece of steel that comes right down here against the bottom of uh, the quick attach there. And it just so happens I had these pieces of steel off of the Alice Chalmers uh, hitch just kind of earlier, and the bent to the correct angle. It'll just sit right up there. I can weld it right here along this edge. And it just fits that bend absolutely perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get those welded on. And then I get my loops of steel welded on back here for my pins to go through. And then weld it all to the pallet fork frame. And I am done. Which is good because it is hot out here today. Well, I 
I've just got a couple pieces of metal here trimmed up. And uh, these are going to be uh, my locks for my pins to go through. Well, I now have my locks welded in place. My pins to go through. And so I believe I am now officially ready to weld this plate to my power forks. Well, I just got the power forks completely lined up with the loader. It's completely square and it all should be ready to weld up. I really lucked out and these big heavy pieces of steel right here, they slip underneath this channel on my pallet forks so I can weld that all solid. And not only is that welded, but it is going to be lifting underneath this channel. And so that's really going to give them a lot more support. Well, I got our quick attach mount welded up to the pallet forks, and I believe we're ready to uh, get it hooked up and see how it works. I'm really happy with how this worked out. Well, the loops that I use for my pins to go through to lock it on aren't really too ideal. I'm not really too worried about it with this mobility loader because uh, being this is pallet forks and I'm not really going to be uh, putting down much down pressure at all. And being this loader is front wheel drive, if you do put down down pressure, then you can't go because obviously the front tires don't have any traction. So if you're building something for skid steering, then it's going to have some down pressure. I recommend using a better uh, loop for to lock onto, but I'm not really too worried about this. I am going to uh, grind down a lot of the stuff I cut the torch. I just haven't had time to mess with it yet. And I will get this painted. Uh, one thing I am going to do differently is I'm going to cut out that plate steel and I'm going to cut it up with flush with this uh, framing right here because I do not think of it. But when you raise the, the power forks up in the air, it makes it terribly hard to see because that sheet metal is in the way. So I'm probably going to just get that trimmed up. It's not really too big of a deal. But besides that, I think we're ready to go. So that's probably going to be doing it here for this video. Be sure to go check out my other videos on this channel of uh, mounting the quick attach plates onto the loader and also building those pallet forks. Should be called top corner of your screen and uh, go check those out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.